So you've been in Florida or you're in your first season, your winter season, and now you are looking to extend your initial visa and do an up north season. Exciting times now, it's time to leave Florida, get prepared to figure out what new state you're gonna to move to and explore. Luckily, there are many different options of states to move to on your up north season. video and um, this one I'm going to be speaking about how to find a job opportunity for your up north season. First thing to do is decide if you want to apply privately through a company or if you want to do a combination of both. You may reach out to your agency that you've come over here to the states with and check your emails to see if you have any information about links that they have with up north seasons. Check with your current club in your HR department if they have any recommendations or if they have any contacts that they can pass on to you for up north seasons. Usually seasons from up north will email the HR with their offer. The goal is that a place in their up north season will have you come and work for them and then your job will take you back and you can do this for up to three years so it's a win-win for both companies. On Facebook, if you search for H2B visa program, you will find some groups which will share upcoming job opportunities for up north season and information regarding the H2B visa program. Keep an eye out on these pages for employers posting job listings. There is a website I sometimes use called Coolwork and you can apply through this. Also, ask your fellow H2B friends, anyone you know on the program, where they have for jobs for up north season, word of mouth is great and usually your friends will be applying to a club and they will ask if they would like to refer any other friends. Check out MTL's Facebook or website, they post many job opportunities for up north. If finished watching this video, check out the description box. I will be leaving some links there to employers that are currently still hiring for the up north season. <laughs> Now that you've applied for many jobs through either an agency or privately, check your emails and you should have some interviews lined up hopefully. Now it's time to get prepared for them. Most interviews will be done through Skype or Zoom. Be sure that you show up early or on time for your interview. Be ready to answer some questions of your previous experience and to explain the skills and why you would be an asset for this current job role. Frequently asked questions you may get asked in the interview would be what is the strength that you have? What is a weakness that you have? They may ask you to describe your current job role. For example, what you do from start to finish of service in your restaurants. If you decide to do more than one interview, I recommend for you to schedule them close together within a week as after your interview the club will shortly reach out to you if you do have the job offer and they will expect you to sign the job offer shortly usually within one week it's put you in a good position to be able to pick your favorite job and it is also good for the club that you are not leaving them wait too long to sign your offer letter once you have accepted your job offer, your job will shortly reach out to you for information such as your social security, passport and additional forms to go through with the visa process. Upon approval of all of your documents from your new employer's lawyer, you will then be given a visa extension for your up north season. Now you have everything set in place, it is time to plan your arrival with your new employer. 
Your new employer will pay for your transport to your club either before or will refund you when you do arrive. Choosing your start date with your new employer, make sure to take into consideration your current contract of your current club and figure out what that end date is before you do plan this date. I can answer some of your questions and you found some of the information that you have been looking for on finding your job for your employment. If you haven't found this video and you're not currently on the States and you're not too sure what I'm talking about, check out my previous video which explains what the H2B visa is and how to be part of it. In the comment section or on my Instagram or Facebook if you have any questions you would like answered in my upcoming video. This video is going to be a day in the life of a H2B visa employee and I will be interviewing some other people on the visa program to find out some of the highs and lows of the program so sure far. Be sure to like and subscribe if you are interested in the upcoming videos. If you are interested in sharing the videos I have left a link in the description box below that you can copy and paste and send to your friends. If you've made it to the end of this video, thank you and I wish you the best of luck in finding your job opportunities for your next season. Thank you and have a great day.